Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and go to robotics. Okay, and if you click on index, you can cancel any dialog box. You should click on anything right here under the files panel. Okay, so you should on the right hand side have the following panels. Files, insert, CSS designer. We're gonna go into all this eventually, but uh, today, okay, if you have the site manager set at robotics, which is what we set up, you'll see the other folder here with all your stuff here, but you should see index.html, and I know that I asked you also to create index2, so you should see index and index02. Uh, so click on index, please. Double click on that. All right, and what you should have had right now is the following. You should have a banner, okay? On the right-hand side, you should have these words, okay? Gladstone Robotics. I'm going to go ahead and fix it up a little bit because I don't know what happened to my thing, but I'll just go ahead and give it a color, maybe a yellow. All right, so that's what it should be right there. And then you should have all this nav bar. And then you should have everything here with a, a image to the right. And of course, you've got uh, the text over here. Okay? Is that you good? Yeah. All right. So, uh, do you need me to look over your shoulder? All right. Remember, okay, as I went to Sonia, I noticed what she couldn't see. Make sure you're on split mode. Make sure in design mode. Split and design mode. All right, another thing I want to show you is if you click on the image. Okay, everybody, watch this. If you click on the image, I'd like for you, notice how most of your images are right together with the text. I'm talking the text is smack right touching. We got to add a little bit of the breather. So here's the code. If I click on the image, okay, if you guys click on the image, in other words, you see the handles right there. I'd like you, you should have, uh, there's two obsolete tags that are not accepted in Dreamweaver, but accepted on the internet, on the web. And that's what counts. Okay, so what you're going to do now, you should have already added a line equals left. Now I'm going to ask that you add this. So skip a space, H space equals 10 with the quote. So once again, you're going to click on the image and this should highlight, it should be highlighted on the code. What you're going to do is you're going to put H space equals 10. H space stands for horizontal space. Okay, so that is the space between the image Okay, so we got this going. Now what I'd like you to do, everybody, is find a background for the whole page. Okay, so I would say go ahead, and Lewis, are you good? Okay, so go into Google, go into Google, and look for, and I would just type in uh, technology background images. All right, and then find something like really light. Okay, maybe something like this. And then, or even this right here, which is pretty cool. Make sure that is a background. So 2000 by 1450 is pretty good size. Which one of those thousand goes to this light? Um, you're right, it is. So, you know, there's other opportunities here. So look at this one. So I'm going to choose this one. This is at 5000. So I'm going to right click, save image as, and save it into the images folder of what you're working on right now and call it background or call it BG okay uh, 01 just for the heck of it save
call it whatever you want. I, I named it BG01. You don't have to use anything that I use. Okay, you can go with your own thing. Okay, you can even go into Photoshop and create your own. And I notice this thing has a copyright thing, so. Yeah, you can uh, go ahead and, uh, I, I mean, here when I see Vec Vectezy, I can go ahead and download. Jeez, glasses are on me. I like this one, but it's not big enough. Okay. Everybody got their background? Anybody not get their background yet? Okay. All right, so I'll catch you up, Lewis. Everybody go to File. Okay, up to File and then Page Properties. You should have this. So File, Page Properties. Yeah. File, Page Properties. And then click on Appearance HTML. Okay, I'll do it again. File, app, bless you, file, page properties, okay, okay, so go to appearance.html, go to browse, and then find that image you just downloaded. Uh, yeah, and then press open, and then press OK. Okay. So it's not quite what you wanted, huh? So find something else. It's okay. Uh, if it's not going to work, let's try this one. Let's try this one, everybody. How many got, like, really, it's really bad? Okay, so, okay. It's, let's do this, okay? Um, there's a couple of things I want to try, but let's do this. Let's go File, Page Properties again. This time, instead of HTML, let's keep it at CSS. Okay? And what we'll do is background image right here. Background image. Find your background image. Okay? I, I kind of have a feeling that this, thing, this is too small. That's why. I need to find a bigger background image. I'm hoping this one... Let's just download this. Well, hold on. Let me download this one. This oh, screw that. I'm not going to pay anything. I'm going to save. I'm going to do this one. Save image as, and I'll call this BG01. Replace. Okay, so let's see if this one works. So let's do this file, page properties, click on click on appearance dot okay, appearance CSS. Okay, good Adam. What's that? Yeah. What's that again? Design. Okay, everybody got it on design? All right, so now you click on appearance.css. I'll stop here if anybody needs me to, needs to catch up. Then what you're, yeah, okay, who needs, okay. Okay, for those of you who don't need to, in a, where it says background image, find that image. And just click it. So let's do this. Find your find the one what you browsed. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this guy. Press OK. And now here, this is what you gotta do. 
where it says repeat, okay, you want to say no repeat. Okay, so once you've chosen your background, you want to say no repeat. Okay, so this is what you should have right now. And press OK. Don't worry about size. Okay, that's for fonts. So press OK. Now, you don't see anything except up here. So what you can do is you're going to save, and then you're going to look at this in a browser. So you'll find, click on uh, Downloads Infotech, and I believe I'm here. Okay, and then right click Open with Chrome. And, ooh, man, that's not good. Nothing happened. Let me do something. Okay, so I'm having a problem. So I'm sorry, this is what I have right now. And that's not exactly what I wanted. So I need to find a good background image. So let me find it. And you guys may want to find it too, because this is only, this is too small. I thought I had something bigger, so. See how small this got? So I need to find something. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. So let's, instead of saying background image, type in high res background image. And see what you can find. If not, we can create our own. What's that? Let's uh, let's do this, everybody. Ready? So I'm, I'm wasting time finding in background images. I thought I had one.
Okay, everybody, let's open up Photoshop. Okay, so obviously I can't find anything. And I don't want to waste time. Everybody open up Photoshop, please. Although maybe I found this. Open. Open image. Nope, not happening. Okay, in Photoshop, create a new file. Ready with me? Everybody ready? Create a new file. And this time, let's make it 100 by 1,500 pixels. 100, so we're going to call this background, BG, okay, robotics. Okay, 100 over 1,500. All right, everybody good? All right, press, uh, keep it at a white background. Act, yeah, keep it at a white background, press create. Now, what I'd like you to do, okay, listen up. Create a new layer, okay, create a new layer. Layer, new layer, layer, new layer. Okay, for those who are new to Photoshop, layer, new layer, okay, just Call it layer one. And what I'd like you to do is keep it very subtle. So let's uh, let's go ahead and make sure that it's a black to white background. So just click here on this little small icon. Alrighty. If you click on this icon, it'll turn black foreground and white background. And then what I'd like you to do is click on this. Uh, if you have this. For those who know Photoshop, click on the gradient tool. For those who don't know, hold and click where there, you see a paint bucket tool. Make sure you choose gradient. Okay. Is anybody else? You gentlemen over there good? You guys good? Anybody? Non-Photoshop? Okay. Then what I'd like you to do is go ahead on the very top with layer one, drag all the way down across, and just let go. Maybe not so much, just let go. Okay, Sonia, you got, got the gradient? Okay, how about your neighbor there, Alejandra? Got the gradient? How about you, Lewis? All right, so Alejandro, do you need my help? Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do now with layer one selected, lower the opacity all the way down to about 20. Uh, make it 30, make it 35. So now you've got a dark, it starts out dark gray, ends up white. Click on the opacity. Click on the opacity. Okay, right here, and lower it down to 35. Thirty-five. 
Thumbs up. Good. Okay, everybody good? Go ahead and save this. Shh. File, save a copy. Okay, let me go back here. File, save a copy. And go ahead and click on it on your computer. Okay, on your computer again. I'm going to say don't show this again. And then go into your images folder. And then go ahead and save it as uh, a, a JPEG. Yes, sir. JPEG. Save it as a JPEG. So the format should be JPEG or PNG. You can save it that as that as well. I'm going to call it BG01, replacing the previous one. And then press save. Anybody need me to look over their shoulder? Who, who asked? Okay, do you have the gradient? File, save a copy. Okay, make sure it's on your computer. Okay, you're going to save it. The format you're going to save it is JPEG. And then save it inside that images folder. Okay, save it inside that images folder. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it JPEG, uh, BG01. Got it, Owen? Okay, Lewis, you good? Yeah. All right, press save. It'll ask me if I want to replace. I'll say yes. Now let's go back into Dreamweaver. I'm going to keep it at CSS. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and browse. Okay, there's my browse. I'm going to go ahead and select that image that I just created. Okay, there it is right there. I'm going to press open, and this time I'm going to say repeat. And repeat meaning, let's see, I think it's going to be repeat. Yeah, just press repeat and press OK. And you'll see that it's a nice, fresh gradient that appears. Okay. So if you press save, and now if you look at it on the browser, okay, refresh, it kind of starts off and then it just kind of, see that? So it goes all the way across. Now you can create a nice little graphic for this. All right, that's good right there. What I kind of wanted was to be fixed, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. All right, so now here's the thing. Listen up, okay? So what we did was this was a page property. So the background was a page property. What we want to do now is, however, we want to make the inside of where the content is with the image and all that white. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to press, and by the way, we'll do this over and over again until you figure it out, because I know this is all brand new. Don't be overwhelmed. I'm not going to grade anything right now. Okay, so we're just going to do this, and we'll do this again, and we'll do this again until you're able to do this on your own. It's not that hard. So let's go ahead and click on inside uh, anywhere here. Like you can put, you can click, you can have the cursor blinking inside the first robotics word. Okay. Then what you're going to do, okay, inside the properties box right here, you should see while the cursor is blinking, there's a thing called BG. BG means background. Go ahead and select a background. So I'm going to choose white or maybe a little bit shade of white. Okay, inside, and then press return. 
Okay, actually, if you press any other color, okay, first of all, pure white is 6S, FFF, FFF. -F -F. Okay, so if we press return, you'll notice that you can clearly see the distinction. You got that, Chiron? Are you doing this? Notice that the cell is pure white, everything else is kind of got a gray. All right, I'm going to stop right here and save it. Please save everything. Save all. Let me go around and help you. Okay. Next thing I'd like for you to do is on the right-hand side, the right nav bar, okay, I'm going to give it a different color. Okay, everybody... Click on the right hand side so you got a blink, you got a cursor there. Okay, so I'm going to open up uh, my properties box right here. And I'm going to choose this one right here because I know the hex number. I'm going to choose FFFFCC. Okay, actually, I'm sorry, put pound sign hashtag FFFFCC, which is FF4FCC, which is, let me get this. Oh, I put, I didn't put enough uh, gray or baby. That's a good start. Well, I'll tell you what, just do this. Go ahead and find your, uh, let's say I want to put Instagram. Well, first of all, anytime you see these checkered box in the around, that means it's uh, transparent. But what I'm going to do is right-click, copy, sa save image as. Yeah, I know. Put it in the same image folder that you have, and let's go ahead and open it up. And this is huge, 4,000 pixels. Why couldn't this work for us? So I'm going to bring this down to about 200. And remember, once you put it in there, okay, you got to make sure that it's small enough. And then what you can't got to do is put the cursor to the right of the image, make sure it's blinking in the cell, not on the image. And then you got to make sure that the horizontal and vertical match. So it's got to be centered and then vertical should be top. There we go. Okay. So go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and save this work. We'll continue this tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll finish up the social media. I'll show you how to create transparent images.
Okay, and then we'll do the etymology page. All right, save all your work. Thank you.